Like this makes me feel good about myself. I definitely expired, but it was $40, so we're gonna make her work forever. It's a freaking mess. Oh my god! It's me Jennifer Biana and welcome back to my channel if you're new here Please subscribe and like comment and all that jazz and let me know what you think Also, please click the notification bell to be notified every time I post and my social media will be somewhere here If you like to follow come through my tiktok is scandalous. I'd be sharing way too much information on there So <laughs> definitely follow me on there. Okay, so today I want to take it back to like 2015 YouTube I know this is an old video concept and I know that probably no one wants to see this but this is like my favorite type of content to make and I'm like still obsessed with people's what's in my bags so this is a small bag but there's a lot in here I think you could tell because it's crushed but I want to do a what's in my bag like I kind of watch tiktoker show what's in my bag but it's like asmr -y, but where this will not be because it's not aesthetic in there and it's a freaking mess so let's get into it so this is my go-to bag I love this like style I've worn it everywhere and it actually hasn't gotten like gross or dark which I'm very impressed by and um it holds like a lot of stuff surprisingly I have another shoulder bag like this that doesn't hold as much so um as you can see there's a lot of nonsense in here so uh, let's get into it okay so first thing that's just like rummaging around is this victoria's secret hand cream it's like small and it fits a bag well mm, i actually do like this pomegranate scent it is lovely i like over hand sanitize my hands and um honestly like it dries my hands out a lot so uh this is always very crucial i have this um morphe portable charger it's super small I actually got it from like an internship that I had once. What's cool about it is that it pops up so you can charge it like this. So you do need the old charger or like a plug-in for the USB. So I'm like, I can plug this into my lamp and charge it. And then on the side, it has like a little something to plug your phone in like there. Like you don't have to carry around an extra loose charger. So it's like an all-in-one and it's super small. Okay, so next I have a hand sanitizer. I have pineapple mango. Mmm, very summery. I love it. <laughs> Next, I have this YSL lipstick. I also did not get this for myself. I think it was like a birthday present, like three YSL sets from someone. And it is in this very like lovely nude color. It's so pretty. I just carry it around because it makes me feel bougie and it's also like super small. Next thing is this little perfume. I also got this as a birthday set. It's like a bunch of Burberry perfumes. I'm not a perfume girl because I feel like it's like old scents, but this pink one is really nice. And this looks <laughs> Whenever I travel with this, I feel like so dainty and girly. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video just to give a quick shout out to some new skincare products that I am obsessed with. I have been in love with Claire's skincare products. I think that they make skincare fun and they smell so good. So I'm gonna try them out right now and definitely check them out in the link in my bio. I just got out of the shower and I'm going to use the cleansing foam right now and then I'm going to put on the mask. So let's put this little headband on. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. The Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser is a basic essential. This is like just so fun on your skin. I love foaming cleansers. It moisturizes and soothes. The Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser gives hydrating refreshments that deeply cleanses and conditions skin and pores. Its formula has been designed to perfectly clean and condition without the tightening after feel that harsh soap and detergents can leave behind. No tightness, but it feels nice. It feels clean. Now let's get into the Claire's Gentle Exfoliator. It's a multifunctional sugar mask fortified with the extracts from grapefruit and raspberry. Oh, I'm a grapefruit fanatic. It cleanses and gives like a mild exfoliation while moisturizing the skin for a glowing complexion. And uh, this mask also comes with like this little, little scooper. Here she is. Actually applies really well. I thought this would be more of a struggle. Oh, I have so much forehead. It just smells so sweet. It smells like grapefruit. I love grapefruit. It smells really good. And the smell isn't overbearing. It's like a subtle smell, which I really like. Now I have to leave this on for 10 minutes and I will get back to you. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. She's a little droopy, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna wash this off. So it is super exfoliating. I do feel like I need to moisturize right after this, um, but it is a sugar scrub. That's 
exfoliating. What I liked about it is that it doesn't have like big chunks. There are some sugar scrubs that have like massive chunks and like actually are abrasive on your skin. So this sugar scrub felt really creamy and had like, like teeny tiny little sugar. So it like doesn't feel like it's rough or anything, like not at all. So I really like that about this scrub. So the sugar mask, I left it on for 10 minutes. I took it off and I really enjoyed it. I love the smell. It feels like so nice to put on and I'm obsessed. Definitely check out Claire's. The link will be down below. Let's continue on with the video. So I haven't cleaned this bag out, I do have to say that. So I do have a bunch of band-aids. I, um, I was out with my boyfriend and we were getting dinner and we were walking a lot and I didn't realize like my sneakers were giving me a blister. So we stopped by and got this like band-aid thing. So then I have this little bag from Ana Luisa. So I reuse their bags. And I think this is just like a lot of medicine. Like it's like a little to-go thingy. Um, and then I have a little foundation. This is my go-to foundation. It's the infallible L'Oreal Total Cover. I have a lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Crush. This is like the only Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick I bought because it was like $40, so it's the only one I'll ever buy again. But I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. It definitely expired, but it was $40, so we're gonna make her work forever. I have a black scrunchie. I have a loose dollar. I have um the, this just loose and about. I have a tops card. I don't know why, considering I don't live upstate anymore. It's been two years that I haven't lived upstate. And then I have this straw so this is a suck straw first of all how cute is this vegan leather so inside there is a straw and there's like okay well first of all there's like a straw cleaner which i think is so cute that they included in this little package okay and so then this is the straw it comes like this and it fits inside and basically you would just screw it on so i, I like this makes me feel like sustainable <laughs> like this makes me feel good about myself and then last thing in my bag is my keys oh sick I think this is a receipt. Where? Fremont Street. Oh, Coney Island? Oh my god! <laughs> it's like Coney Island. There's a Fremont Street in Coney Island. This is Coney Island hot dogs from Vegas. Fremont Street is like this really fun place full of a lot of bars where the locals in Vegas go to. It's not the strip, it's like another place. And um, there was only, we wanted food, it was like 3, 4 a.m. and there was only like a Coney Island hot dog place open. I'm from Brooklyn and all my friends are in Brooklyn. We're like, we went to Vegas and there's a freaking Coney Island hot dog thing. It was $4, that's hilarious and I still have that. I need to keep that in my bag. What am I doing? No, but what I screamed oh my god at is that there's just like a corner piece of a dollar bill that got caught in my bag. I hate myself! Okay, so these are my keys and I have a bunch of keys. These are like my parents' keys, so I've had this since I was like 13. And these are a bunch of keys for my new place. I hate carrying a big wallet because I like carrying small bags. So I just have this like super small little wallet and honestly, I love it. So I have a bunch of cash, which I normally don't, but um, I just think I just shoved it in. I have my new Pulse ID card because that's where I went to college. And then this unzips and here's like all my cards. And then the cutest part of my keys is my AirPods case. <laughs> it's a little Oreo. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, okay, that's enough of my bag. Anyways, that was everything that was in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you want more stuff like this. Thanks for watching, bye.